Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people. So God is talking to Moses. He said, come now, therefore, that I may send thee unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel. Who is God's people? We got the children of Israel. Let's read it in the New Testament, in Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. Now, that's in the Old Testament, and people say, well, we knew that. That was back then. Let's see if that's written in the New Testament. And let's find out. What's your name, brother? Donnell, come here. Another bus gonna come, brother. This is important. Another bus gonna come in 15 minutes. Watch this. Watch this. What? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not thou the least among the prince of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. So from the Old Testament to the New Testament, Israel is God's people. Time. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. So your pastors, your preachers, your ministers in these churches have not taught you the truth of this Bible. That's what we came out here to do. We came out here, if you got any questions, we taking all questions. You brothers and sisters, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're the Israelites of the Bible. You're God's chosen people. And we came out here to bring deliverance unto you. To show you how to get out of the conditions that you're in today. Because God put curses on us as a people, but he promised to take the curses off of us if we come back to this Bible. Right. Read. And they have not discovered thy iniquity. You know why a lot of our people hang on the corners and sell drugs and gang bang, and a lot of our women are into prostitution, and a lot of our men is pimping, and don't take care of their wives and their children? Because the pastors have not taught you how you're supposed to conduct yourself in this society. They have not taught you that you're not supposed to commit fornication. They have not taught you those things. They have not taught you that you're not supposed to smoke cigarettes or smoke weed or use drugs. Teach. They have not taught you your sin to get you out of your condition. Read. To turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee false burden. So the Bible says that your prophets have not taught you the things you need to know to get you out of the conditions you're in, but they have seen vain and foolish things for thee. Like these false holidays that they allow you to, to uh, keep. That's not in the Bible. Like the drugs they allow you to take. They don't rebuke you or correct you and tell you that what you're doing is wrong. That's why you're in the conditions you're in. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. So we came out to preach deliverance unto our people. To teach you to stop selling drugs. Stop gang banging. Stop the violence in your community. How are we going to gather together as a people and we all, you, you GD, he BD, he Vice Lord, he this and he that. And we're not on one accord. Read. This is the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So God says his people are destroyed because they lack the knowledge of this Bible. You lack God's laws, that's why you're walking around here in a bundle of confusion. Not knowing where to go or what to do. That's why you're lost. That's why you don't know how to bring the solutions to your community. Because you don't know the knowledge. A lot of our people think that knowledge is not important. That's why we're in the conditions that we are in today. Because you hate knowledge. Hold that and give me Proverbs chapter 1. Hey, you, bro, hey, did y'all know according to the Bible, y'all the Israelites? Give me Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. This, this is how people feel. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. 
But fool, only a fool will hate wisdom and instructions. Only a fool will hate wisdom and instructions. Hey, hey brother, how you doing? Jeez. Come here real quick. I want to show you something. I want to ask you a couple questions. Go back to where we was at. Hosea 4, 6. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So the Bible says, God says that his people are destroyed because they lack knowledge. Who are God's people, brother? Who is, who is we? Everybody on the earth? How old are you? You 70 years old. You grew up in church? I started off. You started off in church. You believe in the Bible. So, who taught you that everybody in the world is God's people? Give me Exodus chapter 3. The Bible told you that everybody is God's people. So, if I go into the Bible and read to you that every that who God's people is, would you believe that it's not everybody? If I read it out of the Bible. Because obviously somebody told you something that's not in there. Because you didn't read everybody is God's people. That's not in the Bible. I want Exodus chapter 3 verse 10. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 10. So we're going to go from the Old Testament to see who God's people is, all the way to the New Testament, which a lot of our people say the Old Testament is invalid. So we're going to read in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. This is who God's people is. Hey, sis, let me ask you a question. Would you believe, or when you grew up in church, you, you haven't grew up in church, you ever was taught the Bible, you believe in it, right? Was you taught that everybody is God's people? Would you believe that? Who is God's people? The Israelites. Okay, now watch this. Watch this. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people. So God is talking to Moses. He said, come now, therefore, that I may send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people. The children of Israel. Who is God's people? The children of Israel. Let's read it in the New Testament. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. Now, that's in the Old Testament. And people say, well, we knew that. That was back then. Let's see if that's written in the New Testament. And let's find out. What's your name, brother? Donnell, come here. Another bus going to come, brother. This is important. Another bus going to come in 15 minutes. Watch this. Watch this. What? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. And thou, Bethlehem. In the land of Judah, art not thou the least among the prince of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. So from the Old Testament to the New Testament, Israel is God's people. So now, who are the Israelites today? Hey, sister, because you made a statement. Come here real quick. You made an excellent point. Now, I want to show you something real quick, because you was right. Come here. What? You want to be on camera? Cool. Okay, now, you know you're an Israelite, right? What must we do now that we know that we're the Israelites? Now that you know that you are God's people and everybody is not God's people, what must we do? Hold on a second, bro. Hold on a second. Hey, brother, come here. What must we do now, sis? I got you. In a second. What'd you say, sis? I can't hear you. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Right, exactly. We must stop the violence. But how is our people gonna stop the violence? You can't tell you? I got you. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna show you a solution in the Bible. What'd you say, sis? We need to come together. Okay, let's get that real quick and give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What you got? Zephaniah 2 and 1. Read John 3, I'm going to read John 3, for you too. Now, sis, in order for us to stop the violence, she just made an excellent point. We must come together. But if we come together, hold on a second, brother. But if we come together, what, what do we got to come together under? Black men. Remember, the Bible says if two walk, the two can two walk together except they be a what? Agreed. So they got to be on one mind. Nation is men leading by example. 